Imagine a hole, not just any hole, but a pit so deep, so enigmatic, it defies all known laws of nature. A place where gravity seems to vanish and strange unexplained phenomena occur. This is Mel's Hole, a place where truth blurs with the paranormal and reality itself seems to warp. Our story begins in the late 1990s, a time when the world was on the brink of a technological revolution, yet still deeply rooted in the mysteries of the past. In this era, a man named Mel Waters emerged from the shadows of rural Washington. An unassuming resident of this quiet region, Mel claimed to have stumbled upon something extraordinary on his property, a hole of seemingly infinite depth. This was no ordinary hole, it defied the laws of physics and logic. He spoke of its bizarre properties on a popular radio show, capturing the attention of listeners and igniting a firestorm of curiosity. Could this be true? The radio waves buzzed with excitement as people from all walks of life tuned in to hear Mel's incredible tale. Could such a place exist, hidden in plain sight? People were captivated, theories ran wild, some believed it was a natural wonder, a geological anomaly that had somehow gone unnoticed for centuries. Others speculated that it was a gateway to another dimension, a portal to worlds beyond our own. The idea of parallel universes and alternate realities fascinated the public, fueling endless debates and discussions. Was it a government experiment gone wrong? Conspiracy theorists had a field day, suggesting that the whole was part of a top-secret project, hidden away from the prying eyes of the public. The notion of government cover-ups and clandestine operations added an extra layer of intrigue to the story, or simply a fabrication of Mel's imagination. Skeptics were quick to dismiss the story as a hoax, a figment of Mel's creative mind. They argued that there was no concrete evidence to support his claims and that the whole thing was nothing more than a clever ruse. Yet the mystery of Mel's hole persisted, leaving everyone to wonder, what if it was real? What if, hidden in the quiet corners of rural Washington, there truly was a hole that defied explanation? The questions lingered, and the legend of Mel Waters and his infinite hole continued to captivate the imagination of all who heard it. Mel's descriptions of the hole were as intriguing as they were unsettling. Located somewhere in the vast, desolate expanse of eastern Washington, the hole was said to be perfectly cylindrical and lined with an unnaturally smooth, unknown material. He claimed to have measured its depth using fishing line, but the line always came up short no matter how much he used. Animals too seemed perturbed by the hole, exhibiting strange behaviors around its perimeter. Birds would avoid flying over it and dogs would cower and whine at its edge, as if sensing something sinister lurking below. But the strangeness didn't end there. The eerie atmosphere of the forest seemed to whisper secrets, and the abandoned rural landscape held stories untold. The fog that rolled in every evening added to the sense of mystery, shrouding everything in a veil of uncertainty. Mel recounted a particularly disturbing incident involving his neighbor's dog. The neighbor, a usually composed man, was visibly shaken as he spoke to Mel outside his rural house. His concern was palpable, and it was clear that something deeply unsettling had occurred. The dog, he claimed, had fallen into the hole. This wasn't just any hole, it was a dark, deep chasm that seemed to have no bottom. The distressed dog had been playing near the edge when it suddenly disappeared into the abyss, leaving the neighbor in a state of panic. Distraught, the neighbor asked Mel to retrieve the dog's body. Armed with a flashlight and a shovel, Mel approached the ominous hole. He peered into the darkness, hoping to catch a glimpse of the dog, but the depth seemed to swallow all light. The task was daunting, and the sense of dread grew with each passing moment. Days later, Mel found the dog sitting on his porch, alive and well, but strangely different. The dog's return was unexpected and baffling. It had vanished into the hole, and yet here it was, as if nothing had happened. But something was undeniably off. Its fur had turned completely white, and it seemed to emanate an unnatural stillness. The once lively dog now moved with an eerie grace, its blue eyes reflecting an otherworldly glow. The transformation was so profound that it left Mel and his neighbors in a state of shock. The dog's eerie transformation sent chills down the spines of those who heard the story. People reacted with fear and disbelief, their expressions mirroring the unsettling nature of the event. Whispers of the supernatural began to circulate, and the once quiet community was now gripped by a sense of unease. What had happened to it down there? The question lingered in the air, unanswered and haunting. The whole, now a source of fear and speculation, seemed to hold secrets that no one dared to uncover. 
the possibility of other unknown entities lurking in its depths added to the growing tension. What else might be lurking in the depths of Mel's hole? The mystery of the hole deepened, and with it, the fear of the unknown. The shadowy depths seemed to beckon, promising answers that no one was brave enough to seek. The silent dance of death continued leaving a trail of questions in a community forever changed. As Mel's story spread, so too did the rumors and speculation. It started as a whisper, a murmur among friends and neighbors, but soon it grew louder, echoing through the town and beyond. People couldn't stop talking about the mysterious hole Mel had discovered. The more he shared the more the story took on a life of its own. Some dismissed it as a hoax, a tall tale spun for attention, they laughed it off shaking their heads in disbelief. Just another crazy story, they said tearing up newspapers that dared to print Mel's account. Skeptics were everywhere, quick to debunk and ridicule. Others however were convinced of its authenticity, captivated by the sheer bizarreness of it all. They leaned in closer, eager to hear every detail, every twist and turn of Mel's tale. Books and articles were devoured, each new piece of information adding to the mystery. The intrigue was palpable, a mix of fear and fascination, then, the government got involved. It started with whispers of officials taking an interest, but soon it became clear that this was no ordinary curiosity. Military vehicles were seen arriving at rural locations, and government officials were spotted in the town, their presence unmistakable and unnerving. According to Mel, mysterious men in black suits visited his property, warning him to stop talking about the hole. These men were unlike anyone he had ever seen, silent, imposing, and undeniably intimidating. They arrived in dark sedans, their presence casting a shadow over Mel's home. They offered him a significant sum of money in exchange for his silence, but he refused. The briefcase of cash was tempting but Mel couldn't be bought. He pushed the envelope away, determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. This only fueled the flames of conspiracy, leading many to believe that the government was trying to cover up something big. Whispers turned into full-blown theories, documents and evidence scattered across tables in dimly lit rooms. Shadowy figures were seen peering through blinds, the sense of paranoia growing with each passing day. The story of Mel and his mysterious hole had become more than just a local legend, it was now a symbol of the unknown, a puzzle that demanded to be solved. Intrigued by Mel's claims and the growing mystery surrounding the hole, independent researchers and paranormal enthusiasts began their own investigations. Armed with EMF readers, ground-penetrating radar and other scientific equipment, they descended upon eastern Washington, determined to uncover the truth. Their findings were inconclusive but no less intriguing. Some reported strange electromagnetic anomalies in the area where Mel claimed the hole was located. Others picked up unusual readings on their radar equipment, hinting at the possibility of a large subterranean structure. But just as the mystery of Mel's hole seemed to be reaching a fever pitch, Mel Waters disappeared. He vanished without a trace, leaving behind only questions and speculation. Some believe he went into hiding, fearing for his safety after refusing to cooperate with the government. Others believe he may have fallen victim to whatever lurks within the depths of the hole itself. His disappearance only served to deepen the mystery, solidifying Mel's hole as a modern enigma. To this day the exact location of Mel's hole remains a secret, lost to the annals of time and shrouded in mystery. Was it real? Or was it all a hoax? The answer, like the hole itself, remains elusive. But one thing is for sure, the story of Mel's hole continues to capture our imaginations reminding us that there are still places in this world where the unknown beckons, and the line between fact and fiction blurs. What do you believe?